Yeah, thank you, Mark Nichols. It's interesting that Sri Lanka are chasing 169 to win. They chased 170 against South Africa only a couple of weeks ago to win a T20 series. So this game is far from over. But I want to talk about Australia's bowling. So it's going to be a very different bowling lineup today, led by Pat Cummins, Michael Slater. No Stark, no Hazelwood. Yeah, well, I think he's ready to stand up and be that front man. What I like about him is that he's been playing for some time now. He played all through the one-day series in Australia, the Chapel Hadley series, and he's believing in his body. He's got that strength. And I think because he's only got four overs, we're going to see some real pace for him. Him, about 150 at times. But what we've noticed today is the pitch has played a little bit slow. So sometimes that pace will need the subtlety of slow balls and he's got all the variation as well. It's interesting, 15 games of 220 cricket, 28 one days and that one test match almost six years ago. It's hard to believe that this guy at the age of 24 hasn't played more cricket for Australia, but he's in the side to take wickets. That's what I'm sure Aaron Finch and Justin Langer want from him. Yeah, and I think T20 cricket can be hard on the bowlers at times, but with four overs to bowl, I think he's a key member of this Australian team in the Sri Lankan run chase and he can come in, he can bowl fast, he can play those variations as I talk about, but he's the genuine wicket taker. So I'm expecting to see some good stuff from him throughout this series. He's capable of getting that three or four quick wickets in only four overs because of the intimidation, but also variation. And as I say, he's ready to stand up and be the number one frontman bowler again. We can see some of these wickets here. He got through genuine pace. He also has got a, a sort of an off-cutting slower ball, which he'll use. And it'll be interesting to see how he bowls uh, in this match uh, for Australia because, as I said a moment ago, he's got to lead the attack for the first time for many years. Yeah, and look, I don't underestimate what the slower bowlers need to do this evening as well for Australia. But look out for Pat Cummins. He's got the pace, 150 clicks with that variation as well. Yeah, and great to see him back in the Australian colours for a whole season. Let's hope we see more of Pat Cummins in the future. Looking forward to seeing him tonight, Mark Nicholas. Thanks.